So there he is, always on time. And I've been spotted while he doesn't want to see it just yet. So, like I said, Timex starts uh, around 11 o'clock. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. So we are going to check out Wietse, his new dream motorhome. And so Wietse is my father. We have a family company and he just bought a Cartago. Uh, he had one, but he saw one online and he loved it. And he was so in love that after a month of thinking, thinking and dreaming, he decided to buy it. And in the early morning, <laughs> he is already working you on it. So uh, let's check it out. There we go. Yes, nice. Damn. Oh, I like the colors. This is so nice. So there's the separate beds in the rear, which everybody loves. You can turn this over into like a double bed, but this is luxury. So this dashboard from Cartago, they made only a couple of years with the wood. And if you like it or not, it's definitely unique. Like but the steering wheel is sick, nice. That looks really good. It's an automatic. Wow. Spot on. Yeah. What? In my yeah. Huh? In my port. What do we? Stay. Oh. Oh, this is. Uh, this is stone, uh, porcelain. porcelain. Wow, which is perfect because it doesn't get yellow. What happened to all the, oh, this is very luxurious. Heavy, but luxurious. Nice. Ook wel vrijheid, hè? Time doet het werk en hou ook aan mooi rondlopen. Maar zijn jullie gelukkig ermee? Wij zijn heel gelukkig. Ja? Het laat me ook wel in. Oh ja, het laat me zon er ook wel. Ja. We are very happy, but we were happy all before. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It doesn't make us more happy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Mooi But also my thousand euro wind beaten on uh walking on a yard and this is the place where our customers, when they first arrive, we usually pick them up from the airport and they, and they would spend the first night or two nights at our yard in Hogeveen, which is around two hours from Skip Hall. And this is perfect for, um, you know, when you just arrive, you're in a new motorhome, you've never seen it, you don't know how it works. And when you spend a day or two just figuring out how everything works, you can get their inventory, like we have a whole attic full of free inventory they can get and fill up their motorhome. I will explain how everything works and we will just finalize the paperwork. And when they sleep at our yards, it just helps a lot that we can be flexible, take our time and just relax. So we are now in the shed. As you can see, there's uh, some motorhomes over here and this is where we store all the motorhomes. This is the old, I don't want to say old, but this is the other motorhome which has. He's going to sell it right now um, because he bought a new one. But this is basically where we store vehicles for customers that are coming for several years. Some people, they purchase a vehicle through us and then they take multiple trips through Europe every year. And then we organize the insurance and registration and this is actually Timec, his own camper van, which he is building. And more about that probably in another video. All right. So here we are at our house. So this is where we live and also have the big shed in the rear. So this is our company building as well. And there's my uncle. So we are here and uh, let's go check out Timec. All right, back at it again. It's a lovely day and my uncle is visiting us and he brought his dog. 
I much more prefer cats. I don't think Tarmac is working in it right now. Let's see. Hey, Sam. Oh, Sam, I'm filming. Do you mind? Is it all right? So, guys, I was looking for Timec, but this is Samuel, and Samuel just bought uh, this very nice Burstner Summer Edition, Lexeo, and he's the owner of the cats you saw yesterday, and we were wondering what their name is. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. And the other one is Mimi. Ah, so it's Mimi and Mew Mew, and this is Mew Mew. All right, so... Uh, How's your camping spot like? <laughs> it's wonderful. Very warm indoor. <laughs> so he's um, he's going to, we're going to install solar panels and stuff like that, or actually Timec already installed it. I'm going to ask Timec to give you a little, little show. Look how huge that is. <laughs> so what are you working on right now? Um, currently, I'm connecting all the cables on the roof for the solar panels and the air conditioning. So you are making solar panels? Should we have a little look up here? Yeah. Hey, Timek. Hey, hello. Suddenly you are wearing a mic. Right, I already <laughs> was wearing it, no worries. <laughs> no, but if we have a look over here on the top of the RV, all the way on the back, we see two big black solar panels. These are premium solar panels and we put them on here, cables together, directly into the RV. Um, are you going to clean up, clean up this stuff or are you going to leave this? Right uh, it will rain tomorrow, so we'll be fine. It's <laughs> Phil. Yeah. All right, let me go down. Should I hold the camera and you film you struggling? <laughs> I mean, I need two people to help me. Okay, you okay? One more time. All right, so now we actually saw some nice stuff. Let's go back to Tarmac. How I am again. <laughs> so, Tarmac, do you want to show us quickly what you have been doing to Samuel his motorhome. Over here you see a Bluetti system and uh, the Bluetti system is actually a big uh, backup uh, power station, power station. Yeah. thank you and yeah we installed it for, uh, for Samuel uh, now he can charge his RV by using the Bluetti and the solar panels on roof are connected to the Bluetti so that way you can charge the Bluetti while the Bluetti is charging the RV if you look over here you can see our lpg refill plug it's really easy because now you can go to a, a pump station and get lpg into your lpg bottle that's in here let me show you guys that in front we still have the propane bottle and on the back there's an lpg bottle that's refillable i know you made something for samuel his cats right correct over here You can see the litter box of the cats, because of course, when you take two cats on your journey, you want a big litter box for them. And um, there's a little storage compartment under here, and the litter box is easy. On a slide out, nice. over here, yes. you see a little door for the cats. Nice. And behind the door, this is where they can get in. The same litter box. And now they can get into the litter box. Perfect. <laughs> so and this is the 12 volt air conditioning. Yep. Um, Yesterday evening we saw a video of you. Yeah, a little time lapse. That. And it works, right? It's cool. It works perfectly. Nice. And there is Mimi. Hey Mimi. <laughs> Hiding for us. So this is going to turn out to be a cat video. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some USB plugs beside there in yeah. the rear which you sorted out as well. We also made a microwave over here. Uh, nicely. Wow, this is made very well. Did wow. you? Oh no wait. Oh no wait. That's you did. <laughs> How did it? That's why you can All see right. the screws over here. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> right. I also have four of these, which uh, unfolded into four panels, and I have four of these. So yeah. when the RV is parked somewhere, I could lay them out, point to the sun, and, and have then you have like mobile portable solar ability. panels. Yeah, these are yeah. carry-on solar panels. And this is also made by. Bluetti. The yeah. moment Samuel is going to call me and says, Harold, I don't have power, I might just <laughs> <laughs> run away. <laughs> I'm so glad I chanced on him because since then, Harold has become a good friend of mine. They are absolutely the most integrous people. Um, we work everything on trust and they have been extremely trustworthy, very helpful, 
always on the spot help whenever I need it. Is there a reason why this chair is up so? Yeah, I did. You did? Yeah, I changed the fuses underneath. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because I cannot drive it like this. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, I yes. put it all the way up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's low, yeah it's I, you have to. Okay, yeah, that's better. I like it all the way down. Just wanted to make sure that uh, I thought maybe you were driving like that. I was like, mm, okay, whatever you, whatever you do. Yeah. All right, so we're just driving out his old, I don't want to say old, but his less new motorhome. And funny, no fact is that he, he did uh, all this stickering by himself. So it's not original. And he used this like a carbon sticker kind and it looks very, very cool. And the name which he gave it is Adelaar, which means eagle. And as you can see, like the hood has a nice little eagle logo on it. And it's gold with gray, with dark gray and black. Yeah, so she's gonna drive his new one in. And then probably it will be his last you can see the difference between the two Cartagos. Okay, you can see it in the rear. Well, the stickers are obviously different because Witze has his own design here, but it's going to be his last trip with the silver till. Linda doesn't have a lot of patience, but to be fair, it's six o'clock and Witze said to Linda, I want to leave today at 12. Yeah, 12 or one. Yeah. 12 or one. So <laughs> this is how you get used to it. <laughs> All right, take care. Once again, end of the day. Uh, we made it, Timex fixed everything. Um, so yeah, very good. It was a little bit hectic, not stressful, but we were wondering if everything came, came in in time and. No, but it, it was a good week, but it was hard work for one week. It was a lot of things to do, but yeah. we fixed it. And now it's time to clean the shed because it's a mess. So yeah. we're going to grab some dinner and Timex is going to clean the shed. And uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Timex, yeah. how are you with Samuel, his car? All done? Finished. Finished. All done. So it's uh, the end of the day. It's Friday evening and Samuel, his motorhome is completely done. Timex did. I want to say most of the work but i mean all of the work and so we're just happy and we're going to celebrate it together with samuel and timec so i'm gonna have dinner anyway this was the vlog thank you very much for watching and if you like our videos please like subscribe and there's a whole lot more coming soon we're going towards spain on monday and sam is going to start his trip continue his trip and he's going towards copenhagen denmark so we will be very curious if you have any questions for sam just put them in the in the comments and i will make sure that they reach them all right bye 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 all right so cheers a very good week and hopefully a very good and blessed trip for you.